With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, let's take a question. The question says that the equivalent conductivity of BaCl2, H2SO4 and HCl are X1, X2 and X3 respectively at infinite dilution. If conductivity of saturated BaSO4 solution is X, then solubility product of BaSO4 is. So, we know that the solubility product of BaSO4 is, is equal to the concentration of Ba2 positive ions and the SO4 2 negative ions. So suppose let it be M. So for both it will be the M. So the solubility product is, is equal to M square. M is here concentration. Okay. M is concentration. So how we can find out the concentration or we can also say that the concentration relates to the molarity relates to the molarity so if we find out the equivalent conductivity at infinite dilution then from that we can find out the molar conductivity as we know that molar conductivity relates to the molarity or the concentration so if we write the equivalent conductivity at infinite dilution for BASO4 so from here how can I calculate okay equivalent conductivity at infinite dilution BaCl2 plus equivalent conductivity at infinite dilution H2SO4 minus here it will be 2 equivalent conductivity at HCl because we need to cancel out the 2H and 2 chlorine. So here we will multiply it by 2 because we only require Ba and SO4 right. So it will be for BaCl2 it is X1 and for H2SO4 X2 and for HCl it is X3. So we can substitute the values and that will be here is equal to X1 plus X2 minus 2X3. So from here we get the equivalent conductivity at infinite dilution for BaSO4 is equal to this. So suppose it to be our first equation. Okay. So we know that the molar conductivity at infinite dilution for BaSO4 is equal to the n factor or equivalent factor of the electrolyte. For BaSO4 it will be 2 because Ba also has plus 2 charge and the SO4 has minus 2 charge. So the n factor will be 2 into equivalent conductivity. Equivalent conductivity at infinite dilution for BaSO4. So it will be so we will substitute this value here x1 plus x2 minus 2x3. So it is our molar conductivity at infinite dilution. So now we know that the molar conductivity is, is equal to molar conductivity is, is equal to the conductivity into 1000 upon concentration or we can say molarity right. So from here we can calculate the value of molarity and that will be conductivity in 2000 upon molar conductivity. So in the question we are already given with the conductivity and that is x right and that is x and we have already calculated the value of molar conductivity right. So that is 2x1 plus x2 minus 2x3. So conductivity is our x into 1000 upon 2 x1 plus x2 minus 2x3 okay so it will be cancelled out so here molarity will be is equal to our 500x upon x1 plus x2 minus 2x3 so now we can substitute the value of m in the solubility product okay and that is here okay we can substitute that value here so it will be equal to KSP, KSP of BASO4 is, is equal to M square. So it will be 500X square upon X1 plus X2 minus 2X3 square. Okay. So upon it will be 2.5 into 10 raised per 5 x square 
upon x1 plus x2 minus 2x3 whole square. Okay, and it's the value of our required solubility product. So let's see with which option it matches and it matches with our third option. So it is our correct answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.